Bit of a different video today, guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a new room. Set, currently setting up an office. Um, sporting some new attire. Uh, sorry for the hands-free. I'll try to keep it uh, as smooth as possible so nobody gets seasick. Um, I'll make it as short as possible. Um, as you can see, I've entered the world of 3D printing. Uh, currently printing some Kylo Ren keychain bulb little heads that I'll be handing out to uh, the people at Comic Con and places like that as I'm cosplaying. Uh, this video I'll be doing a few of these uh, Game of Thrones pins. Uh, hopefully they'll come up pretty pretty well. Uh, these are just a few objects I've been printing. Uh, I'll cover a couple of these in a, a later video. But today's video, back to the pins. Um, I'll be, I've already sanded them up to get rid of some of the, um, the fine lines from 3D printing. Uh, I'll be hitting it with a, a black primer, followed by a gold spray, and then I'll be putting a, a brown wash on these on on the gold and then so that will go into all the crevices uh, and then give it a, a bit of a rub so it, um, it highlights it and then if it needs any dry brushing I'll do a dry brush with a lighter color uh, like, like a, a lighter gold or silver depending on how, how it looks and then I'm gonna seal it in a, a, a mat a clear mat so um, Let's get to it. How was that guys? Pretty good. Bit of time lapse video for you. Uh, this is the end result. Pretty good I reckon. I'm very happy with it. I'm sure the guys at work will be very happy with it when I hand them to them. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with how they came out actually. Even like the back of them. Even though that's just the matte black primer with a, with a, whatever gold was on the newspaper rubbing on, on the back of it so as you can see in the design of it there's a slot as well so if you want to incorporate a pin put it on your clothing it'll be pretty good um, it's a very good design of the um, the Game of Thrones pin the or, or um, the, the shout out to go to Hassy GH on Thingiverse, he designed it and, and chucked it up for everyone to use. So if you want to print that on your 3D printers, just search for Hand of the King on Thingiverse and this will come up. Very easy to print. I did it on the Tebow Tarantula behind me. Um, I just used uh, some the grey PLA that I had and um, I find the grey shows up the uh, some details finer and easier to see than say say black. Very hard to see black items sometimes. Um, whereas if you do it in grey, the uh, pops out. You can see all the details. Orange can't really see anything <laughs> until you paint it. So so yeah so yeah head on over if you want to print these do that. Chuck a like up, any comments, any feedback, happy to help you with um, weathering these things. So once again, did it with um, a 0.4 nozzle on the printer, layers of 0.100 for memory, and then um, matte black primer, followed by the gold spray, 
and then washed it with some brown wash, dabbed it where I didn't want it to, to be on the high spots and then gave it a, a shot of clear. So yeah, pretty happy. All right guys, that's, that's me done. Bergs from Southern Cross Garrison, 501st. Hope this helped you out.